Hermitage's untitled work that goes by the name of Andy's Marilyn one. It's a mixed media piece on canvas. And what it is, is it is the famous image of Marilyn Monroe, the photograph, the headshot photograph that Andy Warhol painted to make Magenta Marilyn and all the Marilyns, including the one that just sold for $195 million, the highest amount ever sold for an American painting. Then created on the canvas portion, the rest of the bust, so it's the black dress and shoulders and so forth, created a series of lines that look like crop lines. Two of them are black and two and a half are red. They're sort of one split, so it could be three. The black line looks like it's been, it's been painted white in the background and then etched in, perhaps, and then filled with black. But the red lines are what's fascinating. Because of the color and the type, they look like slashes to the outer edges, look like just slashes of red. And one of them even sort of runs along the shoulder. And there are sort of bits of red elsewhere. While the one closer to the face and head is more precise. It's this idea that our image of Marilyn was created from magazine, and more specifically, in this case, created by Andy Warhol's representations of her. And this work does several things. One, it calls to attention, because these look like the old marks that you would do when you were doing uh, work for magazines, the cropping ways you would do. You would put edges around, and this is the amount you're going to use to reproduce in the magazine, or the newspaper, I guess. There is something inherently violent about strikes of red like this. In, and, you know, you could do these same things in exact, you know, perfect things, and it would be less violent. But here, they sort of end. They're slashes. And the way that the paint runs down her arm towards her elbow, and you see a little bit of it sort of pooling uh, at the bottom of the painting, right beneath, right beneath her breasts, it brings this idea of what the representations of Marilyn weighed on her. How, in a way, it was the magazines, it was the attention, it was the art directors, and it was Andy Warhol, who was doing damage to Marilyn through the obsessive representation. This piece absolutely sung to me. It's a brand new piece. It's uh, apparently part of New York Art Week. And Homotage I knew very little about, and I've looked into more, and I'm like, wow, that's cool. But the fact that this is Andy Warhol's most famous image, and this is Andy Warhol's year, apparently, with the huge sale of the Maryland painting and so many other little bits and pieces coming about Andy. And I'm going to contribute to this because I've got three Andy Warhol episodes lined up, ready to go. But this work, this says a lot about what the pop artists and the media in general were doing, how it was treating their subjects. And it just, it's wonderful. 